I don't think I'm going to do hair videos anymore, you guys. I can't do it because the truth about my hair is that it's too hard to do. Kidding. Welcome back to my channel you guys and I am back with another hair video, hair talk video is what we're going to do today and I'm going to be talking to you about the truth about my hair. There's a lot that I need to talk about my hair. My hair, mm, it is not perfect. My hair is not perfect y'all. So we, I'm just going to get right and tell y'all how I feel about my hair. The first truth about my hair is that I feel like it is not long enough. Oh. How long have I tried to achieve long hair? So long. So I've been trying to achieve waist length hair ever since high school and I've never been able to find that right routine to get that hair growth. So that's something I'm still trying to figure out till today. Second truth about my hair is that it is really thick. You guys might not think it's that thick, but my hair is really thick. And what I mean by how thick my hair is, is that because, because of how much muscle I have, is because of how thick my hair is. These muscles are fake. <laughs> I'm kidding. My muscles work because of how muscular I want to say I am. It's because of how thick my hair is. It's very hard for me to put my hair into ponytails, buns braids I have to take breaks in between doing my braids it is so hard but it's just what we got to deal with <laughs> a third thing about the truth about my hair is that always be so frizzy and without humidity it's like I will put gel in my hair to lay it down and my hair will still somehow be super Frizzy. This frizziness is okay, but up here is still kind of frizzy. I've probably put like three, four layers of gel on my hair. Is it dry? Does it feel crusty? No, <laughs> my hair does not feel crusty. It's it's just that it's so hard to lay my edges down lay my hair down i have frizziness problems like my hair just won't stop being frizzy i don't know why a fourth truth about my hair is my curl pattern um i believe i have 4a or 4b type hair um that's just something that i'm getting used to learning along the way and just really recognizing what kind of type hair that I have. So, fifth truth, I have a hard time maintaining hair growth. My hair, hair grows half of inch, half an inch every month or two months. I have a hard time with heat. That's just my only thing from retaining from hair growth for me and adding heat to my hair all the time really restricts my hair from from growing so that's why I'm doing this one year journey to see where I can get to see where I can go with my hair <laughs> a sixth truth about my hair is that I have no routine I have no strict routine for my hair. I have no strict wash and go routine. I have no strict curly hair routine. I don't have no strict winter routine. Like it just kind of is what I can work with. Um, but it's hard if I don't really have a curly hair routine, a routine that I'm used to because sometimes I'll forget <laughs> what I did. I'll be like, oh my gosh, that routine. I, 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 I wet my hair. I sometimes forget and I'll forget like what hair product did I use in that routine. It's always something different and it's always something new. So it's something we just have to try to remember. <laughs> Seventh, I am always breaking my hair utensils, hair tools, whatever you want to call it. 
but I'm always breaking my combs. I'm always breaking my brushes. Um, I don't know if it's how cheap my hair tools are, but I think it's because of my hair and really trying to comb through my hair. Even when I have my hair wet, washed, it's like I will still, for somehow reason, will break my combs. All the naps that I have in my hair, it'll just break. So I'm thinking an easier way for me to avoid that is combing my hair more often than usual. I think that'll help me solve my issue with breaking my combs. So we'll see. Uh, eighth thing that I have a hard time dealing with my hair is that my hair can always easily get messed up. My hair, in any kind of simple hairstyle, it will never look the same from when I saw it in the mirror. I don't know why. <laughs> Another truth about my hair is how much shedding I have around the house. Shedding is always a good sign that your hair is growing and that it's healthy. But just keeping up with shedding is really annoying. I'm very good with cleaning up behind myself but my shedding will be everywhere. <gasps> Gosh, hair problems. The 10th truth about my hair is that it can be very tiring when doing my hair. Half the time my hair will look like Frankenstein, Frederick Douglass, who can roast me? My fiance is always roasting me <laughs> because of how my hair looks, but I don't care. <laughs> it's like it takes forever to do my hair. So what's the point if I do my hair and I'm not going anywhere? Um, last but not least, the truth about my hair is that I honestly, I try to have my hair look very mature. Like I don't want to be looking 16 with some kind of cute curly hairstyle. Like what? Can I look like my I'm in my 20s can I look like I'm in my 20s so that's just one thing I try to really pull off certain hairstyles to make me look older um so we're just practicing different hairstyles that make me look old enough my age I should say um, those are my truths about my hair don't judge me don't judge me about my hair truths you guys because we all have insecurities about our hair we all have insecurities about our hair and that's okay. So we move on and we learn, we continue to learn. Thanks guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys like this video. Please subscribe, like, and comment. Give me some ideas of what you guys wanna see. Um, but that's all I have for today. So thank you guys and I will see you in my next video. Bye.